and find my makeup. We need to have a serious talk about this. Yeah, we do. Because you're not supposed to have that. I don't need the excuses, okay? You're not ready for makeup. And you're gonna stop playing with my nice stuff, okay? You don't even know what you got in your hand right now. You don't even know what you got in your hand. You lucky you cute. Wow, there's a lot going on. Wifey said you really can't fake your relationship with God because life's gonna try you. and. The enemy knows how to try you. And even God allows certain things to try you to understand how much you need him. Even sometimes in raising, you know, kids. And like there's times where I have to let Sarai burn herself because I keep telling her and I'll, you know, thump her and she'll keep doing the same thing. But when she has that experience of why daddy don't want her to touch something, to go along with daddy telling her not to touch something. That's when she actually listens and stops. So sometimes God allows things to come up so that we can understand and see you can't do this without me. And with everything that's going on right now, it's like the only thing I have at this point is to give it to God. So we just had my 28 week prenatal appointment. Okay, so y'all know that I had gestational diabetes with Sarai and it was just a lot. She came out, you know, came out great. I didn't have any issues at birth or anything because I was able to manage it with just like my diet and exercise and all that. And I kind of kept like a lot of what I did and how I ate and stuff during that process. Like I kept it up even after. Sarai. What's up, Phil? Why are you acting a fool? You can't have coffee. Toddler tantrums, 101. Anyway, so I kept up like most of the stuff even after and essentially it was just like eating better and like being more active and stuff. And so usually at this point, mamas y'all know, you have to take your one hour glucose test, which is when you drink this nasty drink that has like 75 grams of sugar in it that just like makes you spike. And if you fail that test, you have to take a three hour test. And that was probably like the worst experience. The whole thing was like having to do those processes because it just makes you feel so crappy. And also like the three hour test sucks. Like you have to get your blood drawn when you first get there. Then you drink the same nasty drink. You wait an hour, they take your blood again, but then you have to wait there another hour. Then at the end, they test your blood again. So you literally get like four blood draws in one day. And that was just like, no, thank you. So I was talking to my midwife and basically since I'm in a birth center and I think you have this option as well, like in the hospital, they just don't tell you, but I'm able to essentially test my blood sugar for two weeks on my own, self monitor basically, and see based on what I'm already doing with no changes to my diet or anything now, whether or not my sugar is spiking. Good morning. We are finally, finally getting our new living room furniture from Article today. So we are moving our love sack to actually like different parts of the house because listen, we got the love sack when we first moved in and luckily we had it because we thought we were gonna get our furniture from Article like months ago, like January. And now it's April and we still hadn't got it. So it's finally getting delivered today, but the love sack was like right on time because it was 
large enough to make our living room still feel like a living room. But the great thing about the love sack is you can break it apart. So now we have multiple pieces in different rooms. So like we put one piece in our bedroom, one piece in our like playroom, kid room, which is essentially like a full couch. But we have like basically built that with the two pieces of the love sack in our bedroom. And then I think we're putting another piece in the studio, in Mark's studio, basically the garage. So yeah, it ended up working out perfectly. Wow. It's basically garage, it's my studio. So he's getting a piece for his studio. Vision, yo. Like, that's why you gotta believe in your vision. Cause other people ain't you right, gonna take you your right, vision babe. as you're right. as you gonna take your vision. You're right. She went out of her way. To but go, I was trying I to describe if people didn't know where they your studio need, was, it's still a part of the house. They don't need to know. They don't need to know that. Though. Okay. The studio can be a part of them. So, it's going in there too. So it ends up working out really great. Where? In the studio. We're excited now because finally we're getting the actual living room furniture that we've been waiting on for months at this point. And then we are going to show y'all. But once all that stuff gets delivered, we are probably 40% done with the house. We're still gotta put together the new baby's room, the nursery, and then we're gonna readjust our other daughter's room, Ariana's room, but when she's not here, it's our guest room. So we're rearranging that room and then still gotta work on the playroom and do our outdoors. But I feel like our outdoor area is our next task. I think we're gonna simultaneously do it with the nursery because we need both of those things done like ASAP. We have a huge backyard and we love sitting outside, but right now we have like nothing out there. So yeah, so those are the projects in the house that we're working on. And I'm so excited because I cannot wait to see like everything actually put together. Thank you.